In this video, I'm going to show you how to take something that's old, beat up, rusty, paint spaded, rust holes, everything, and turn it into something awesome. Can't go wrong with camouflage. Stay tuned. So why do I have this Honda just hanging here? Because today, we're going to make her look pretty again. Her paint's nice and rusted and pitted um, to the point where if you even tried to repaint this red like it was originally, you'd have to sand quite a bit. The, the sheet metal on this is just horrible. So what better thing to do than camouflage it? It'll hide a lot of imperfections and it'll actually add value. So let's do it. Took some masking tape. We taped off all the some control panel things. A couple little decals, some plastic that we didn't actually want painted. You know, you don't want to paint over every single little thing because then it'll look like crap, won't look like a professional job. You know, anything that we didn't, you know, Honda logos, the pull start, stuff that's going to wear off. And the handle up here, I didn't want to leave black, I actually wanted to paint that because that was pretty rough looking. So since it's plastic, I actually went ahead and used some plastic primer. And that'll help paint actually adhere to plastic better than just spray painting it. But the next step is to take our different paints. And we're just using um, some Rust-Oleum camouflage, different colors. Looks like I got like a green, a brown, dark green, dark brown, a tan, and a really light green. And I'll use these four colors. But most of the time you actually only need about three colors to give a pretty good camouflage effect. I'm going to throw, I mean these are so close, you know, actually in tone that they don't differentiate it too much from each other but I'll throw them all on there and then to do the patterns what I'm going to use is since it's uh, cold outside not a lot of leaves growing I got some dead leaves I got some uh, pine needles that never go anywhere and I lay something flat on them to keep them as flat as possible and you'll see why in a minute but that'll uh, give a better effect you know I did find some green leaves and we'll use those as well for the different techniques and just some uh, pine needles right here that I can actually give, you know, like a grass effect almost as well. And I'm going to start off with the, uh, some of the lighter colors as the base coat. You can start out with dark, you can start out with light, it doesn't really matter. Um, so we'll start out with a light coat first of, this is like the tan. And we don't need a, we just don't want to cover all that red. I don't want any of this red showing through. Now I'm going to use the light green and just kind of a, just kind of mismatch it just a, just a little bit, you know. So I'm going to use some of these uh, straight pieces to actually give myself almost kind of a grass look towards the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay them right over, spray a little bit here, a little bit there. Spin it around. You know, that's kind of just giving me a little grass look. I got these random leaves right here. Let's throw these on different areas. All the tape is pulled off. It's dry to the touch. It needs to dry a little bit longer. But you can see, you know, where I pulled off tape where I had decals and stuff. Um, I installed the air cleaner. I didn't have it on. But, uh, and I had tape over a couple spots on there that I didn't want, you know, covered up. A couple little red spots to stay on off. A couple of little features you don't want covered. But it looks a heck of a lot better than it did. It was rusty and there was holes in it and 
and everything else. Now it actually looks uh, looks really nice. Possibilities are endless. Toaster, lawnmower, chainsaw. You accidentally lose your, leave your chainsaw in the woods. Nobody else will find it, but neither will you, but it's safe. Uh, don't forget to leave me a comment below about what you're going to camouflage next. Thumbs up. Share it if you like on Facebook or wherever else you think, you know, somebody else will want to see it. Go to my channel. Lots of other videos there. Or click on one of the three videos right after this. Popular videos. Thanks, guys. See you soon. Bye.